So Carlin, uh, the election was really amazing. What was your biggest takeaway from what happened on Tuesday? Uh, demography may not be destiny, but it's certainly very important to pay attention to it. The U.S. electorate was 90% white in the early 1970s. In this election, it was 72% white. The Hispanic population is growing. They're voting in greater numbers. The Asian population is growing, and they're voting in, in greater numbers, too. And both of those groups lean very, very heavily to the Democrats in this election. That was the major takeaway for me, was the changing ethnic and racial profile of the country. The African-American population is a slow-growing population, but once again, they turned out in significant numbers. And in a key state like Ohio, their turnout was actually up five percentage points. But of course, it wasn't just the presidency that happened. Uh, a year ago, most people would have thought the Republicans would have at least gained seats and probably gained control of the Senate. Said they lost seats. Why do you think that happened? Well, one of the reasons and is because of Patty Murray, Senator Patty Murray, Murray the mom in tennis shoes um, from Washington State, did a fabulous job of recruiting women candidates for... And that's because she was head of the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee. That's correct. Uh, she was head of the Senatorial Campaign Committee, and she made a great push to recruit women candidates to run in many of these competitive races. And in fact, women are voting for women in greater numbers than in the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s. What was your major takeaway? I look at one question from the exit poll, which is, what quality do you most want in a president? And the voters were given four choices. And for somebody who lost the election, surprisingly, Mitt Romney won three of those categories. He won them by between 9 and 23 points, so they weren't narrow wins. And 79% of the voters chose one of those three categories. So Mitt Romney creamed Barack Obama for people who wanted somebody who shared their values. He creamed Barack Obama on, uh, among voters who wanted a strong leader. He creamed Barack Obama among people who wanted a strong vision for the future. But he lost the election because the last group of people, 21% of the electorate, voted for Obama 81 to 18, 63-point margin. And that was they wanted somebody who cares about people like me. The entire Democratic campaign was meant to convince Americans or a certain subset of Americans that Mitt Romney and by extension the Republicans don't care about people like them. Latinos on immigration, women, contraception control of your bodies, blue collar workers, tax cuts to the wealthy and cuts to services that you rely on. This was the thrust of the Obama campaign and the exit poll shows it works and the Republicans need to take that seriously if they want to challenge four years from now. Democrats usually have an advantage on compassion, and the advantage you're suggesting was much bigger this time. Yeah, well, you don't have to win all four categories, but if you're losing in a national election at a time of 8% unemployment with rampant dissatisfaction in the incumbent, and you lose 63 points uh, by on the compassion issue, maybe you need to figure out how to cut the gap. Exactly. Um, Henry, this reminds me of an essay that our late colleague, uh, Jean Kirkpatrick, wrote for a little journal many, many years ago called Common Sense, in which she was describing at that point why she hadn't become, become a Republican. And she said the reason was that the Republican Party doesn't care enough about the whole. Well, Saw the evidence in 2012. All Barack Obama did was update the standard Democratic playbook since the election of 1932, and for 80 years, when they've gotten in trouble, They've played the same tune, and the audience has turned out in large numbers. Maybe it's time for the Republican Party to figure out how to change the tune. I agree.